la 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 right here bbpn and of course on a guest here season 12 are getting near the end of the second round here things are about to get more exciting more deadly and more violent is now we start to sort out who is going all the way see what Williams has got for me today. Come on, does he have violence? I don't care if it's fucking Williams, alright? Today is the day. You want the referee we all demand, we all deserve for these two fucking firms. Cheating Chelsea versus the delightful and devastating dwarves. I don't know, I, I hear a bunch of you have got different names for these dwarves. Most of them unpronounceable, but that's all right. You know, it's cheating Chelsea versus the Dwarves. Has your dream finally come true? I know, I can feel the nipples. All eight of them. Yes, it does need you, Wolfal. It does need, need you here. Yeah. All right, strap yourselves in. Put on your strap on. Drop your pants. It's cheating Chelsea versus the Deadly Dwarves. This is the match everyone has been hoping for. Now remember, Cheating Chelsea has been dominating all season. First round, second round, they seem nine unstoppable. They have finally run into the Deadly Dwarves. And the Deadly Dwarves get to set up one more time. Oh my god, this could all go wrong. Brilliant! Yeah, brilliant indeed. So, Cheating Chelsea is already in trouble because look at this right here. Yep, Death Roller in place. The rest of the team, slight little change here where they're going. And they're going to do what dwarves do best. Kill elves. <laughs> dare to live the hot dream. Hey, lads, dare to live the dream. I'd shower myself in bits. I'm so excited. Feel these nipples. All eight of them. Or not. I don't judge. 21st century. All right. Oh, he's ready. And yeah, you can see that. He has what are known as true Trell Slayers. Yes, yeah, strength for Trell Slayers. You gotta fucking love that. Oh, this game could go any which way, but hopefully deadly. All right, charges in. Uses the pro. Push me. Fuck you. And that's all he gets out of it. And he chooses to follow this one up here. Cheating Chelsea getting hyper aggressive very early in the game here. Quick little review here, Cheating Chelsea is course is coming with not one, but two apothecaries. I do not blame him. Yep, two apothecaries versus the- oh, yep, people for once cheering for the fucking dwarves. <sighs> well, you know how it goes around here. Just say it. You love dwarves. Just say it! Okay. Don't you lie to me. Alright, don't you dare. Alright. Oh god. Yeah, of course he fails that one. Go on! It's a cheese pollution! How do you fail that? Oh my god. Run, cowards! Yep, he's already burned a rear L. Gets a nice little hit. Get over here! Cracks the armor, unfortunately cannot get the removal. He's dreaming of at this point here. Right now, it's... Oh god. Well, that didn't work. What did you do, Wolf Owl? Did you give him lessons? <laughs> Looks like one of your leaps. Well, does. All right, charges in with Mr. Pylon Blitzer, the man who has carried the team all year. Get in my belly. He just might. It is piling on. Did he kill it? Is it dead already? Oh, it's a start. This is my boomstick. Yeah, well, maybe it is. Just put it back in your pants when you're done. All right, he's down, he's out. And now already the dwarves have what they've been dreaming of. First removal of the day here. Boy, they're going to try and rack these up here. Death Rella has one job this game. Maybe two. Besides, plow the lawn. And hopefully there's going to be a lot of elf fertilizer by the end of this game. There you go. Woo! You'd like to run your hands through my beard, wouldn't you? Oh, we hope so. Schnapps is stunned there. All right. We, well, yep, Troll Slayer. Strength four. 
Doesn't need Dauntless. He's trying for me. Well, the Death Roller, where the fuck are you going? Did he forget his cheeky toy? Is that it? I'm asking for a friend. I'd like to know where the fuck he's going. No idea. Meanwhile, immediately on the front line, a 1 and 9, and yet that's not technically supposed to be a fail. But, yep, yeah, doesn't have block. He threw it with the wrong player. And already he's in trouble. Yeah, well, he makes a opening here. Here he goes. Blitz it. Charges down the opening here. This is only turn 2. Already cheating Chelsea's bird. Two rerolls. This is a new one for them here. They might actually have to start playing fair. When has that ever happened with this team? Never! But here they are. They were more leaping lizards, and there goes the entire cheating Chelsea. Boing, 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 boing! And so far, it's all working fine. Shenanigans! 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 Solid hit into the poor runner. Runner has no idea what just fisted him. Oh, God. Bye bye! Right, off he goes. Yeah, off he goes indeed. Oh, well, there's KO. What the fuck he was doing in the front line? I have no fucking idea. But the Elves are pretty delighted by that one there. That is quite the turn of events. All right, Dwarves. Let's see what Dwarf can do for you here. B -b Besides courtesy reach around. All right, come on, lads. Do it. Do it for the team. Now you're doing this for the league here. You're doing this for the league here. Look at all the fucking mighty blow all over the field. Is there a single Dwarf without mighty blow? And the answer is, you know, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yep, there he is. No, seriously, he's it! Everyone else has got Monty Blow! My god, what a deadly team he's facing. Speaking of, the man is down! He's not out though, he's definitely not out there. Takes it like a, it's like a man. He's crying, but he made it. Not for this chit chat. Yeah, not for the chit chat indeed here. Alright! Oh my god. That's three rerolls in three turns, a double one! Yeah, Paxton is taking him out. I repeat, Paxton is taking him out. There goes the first apothecary of the day there. Crowd just behold. My God, it's all going wrong. It is going totally wrong for cheating Chelsea here. Yeah? Someone stole their bribes, apparently. All right, and now the dwarves get, let's face it, a free turn to give them what fucking for. And here they come. Solid hit to the catch it. Takes the poor bastard down. How's he feeling? Oh, he's KO'd. He's definitely KO'd. Boomstick! Yeah, boomstick to you stick. That's another removal. All right, now the dwarves. Mighty blow, like I said, across the entire field. Wang! I've got the beast in my sights. Ah, he's in the side, all right. Jin is stunned. I think the elves are gonna start taking up regular drinking. Woo! And there goes another one. I like my beer like I like my women. Stout and bitter. Exactly. That's the way it's meant to be, lad. All right. Ask your woman. It's totally true. All right. Here we go. Death Roller. And oh, no! <laughs> Paxton takes out the death roller. That is going to be the meanest gerbil you've ever seen. Injures the death roller. AV10! Gerbil takes it out. Who knew it was that fucking simple? And he has to blow the apothecary on it. That was a permanent injury. You saw that? That was a permanent injury. Oh my god. Oh. Shame. 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 First attempt at a dodge, immediately rolls a one, ends the turn immediately. We're right back to the dwarves already. Turn four. And the dwarves get right back to work after that little wee embarrassment down the field here. Here's the pylon. Guns don't kill people. I do! <laughs> Well, he's trying, lad. He is trying. For heaven's sake, he's trying really hard to get that kill. We've already seen one apothecary bird. Yep, cheating Chelsea came in with two apothecaries. He hasn't been wrong so far. This game is proving to be a total disaster. Both firms, with the only minor exception, every dwarf with one exception on the field right now has mighty blow. They're making a pay for it. 
Now he can't even pick up a fucking ball! <laughs> he finally gets it though on the second try! It only took two tries! You're getting it down! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My spidey sense is tingling. I don't know who paid Paxton, but God love you, son. God love you. Yep, once again, the gerbils take out yet another one, and down he goes. Dwarfs get yet another free turn. And the beatings will continue. Fantastic! All right, well, there's another stun. Meanwhile, over here. Again, it is the legend. My God, it is the legend. The legend hasn't stopped all game here. The legend has just been devastating. Dwarves, high elves, he's violated everyone so far. He is racking up quite the chain. Woo! I don't have a drinking problem. You, you clearly don't. Stout is stunned. All right. Meanwhile, the dwarves are waddling in here. They've got the ball. Now they're going for more beatings. Yep, strike four does not care. Sidestep, do not care. Gets the easy takedown and then just runs along here. Meanwhile, dwarves aren't firing any fouls. Why do they? It, it's got, as nothing's gone wrong. <laughs> Too badly. And that's it. The High Elves stay down. The High Elves stay down. Not a single one stands up. They all stay down. The Dwarves are completely confused by this. There's no opponent to hit. Well, they can foul, but the problem is they're already looking at They got a bit beat up too. They burned their apothecary. They're going, you know what? It's not urgent. Turn seven. Turn eight. Oh, and there go the dwarves for I an early score. Good. Shut, Shut it. it. Well, there you have it. It's 1-0. Chelsea down 1-0. You are seeing history here. This halftime course brought to you by everyone's favorite. Keep calm and be a sexy panda. Oh, well, that's it. You know, Williams has finally decided it's, he, he might as well show he brought his card. Yeah, that, that's pretty much Williams in a nutshell. He's really not fucking caring right now. He's having a great game. He doesn't have to call a single thing. Well, except he had to show his card. Unfortunately, the dwarves, being honest, for once, have accepted that as an ejection. Well, why not? It is already humiliating that it's been taken out by a gerbil. I don't think they want to send it back out of the field anyway. If you wanted an excuse, there it was. Yep, yeah, right, we're off. We're not staying on this fucking pitch at all. Dwarfs drive. Dwarfs, as you can see here, loaded for bear. Look at the entire plethora of the team, the exception of the runners, and one line beard. Mighty blow across the board. Eight mighty blows on the field. This is going to be brutal here. Remember, already, first Poth has been burned out. Right, someone, go and get the ball. Okay. All right, well, he's gonna, says he's going to go get the ball. Here we go. The junior runners decide he's going to actually try that one out here. Come on, does he get it? Yes, he does. Well done. Dwarves on point today. Gerbils are too, apparently. Solid fist, solid takedown. There's the pile on. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. Are we now? Not really. Schnapps is stunned again, but this is what you're dealing with here. A dwarven team with right now eight players. Oh, Luke, nice to show up here. You've missed out a weird one already in the first half here. The dream game, cheating Chelsea versus the dwarves. Thank you. Right, there we go. The dwarves finally get a casualty that sticks this time. They finally get a casualty that works. Well, we all know it's true about you, Luke. You just love dwarves. Say it. Don't be ashamed. You love dwarves. There we go. There's the power of the tackle. The hit. The takedown. Does he get him? No, it doesn't get through there. Okay. Don't worry. There's plenty more dwarves where these came from. 
Oh god, this Dwarven team against cheating Chelsea. The nightmare has come true from Chelsea. And meanwhile, you missed out the glorious moment where a gerbil took out the Death Roller. And did it critical injured and did a permanent injury to it. He had to blow the apothecary on the Death Roller. All because of a gerbil. Paxton's been a cruel bastard this game here. All right, cheating Chelsea. Desperately trying to get back in the game. They really need to just go after the ball. They need to ignore this front line. They need to just get in there and go after the ball. It's going to take hyper aggression that so far has not been working. There's the leap. He makes it through. There we go. That is the team we love. So sure you can defeat me. Well, everyone's been sure all day. No one succeeded. Meanwhile, cheating Chelsea. Here we go. Solid hit. Get so good. Can he get a removal? Probably not. It hasn't been at me all day. So far, Paxton, though, is batting a thousand. No, I'm serious. Every GFI in this game has been failed. Every fucking one. Not a single GFI has been made. They're all failed. If you reroll it, you fail the reroll. Every fucking time. It's been glorious. <laughs> yeah, there's no GFI in this game. Every GFI in the first half was failed. Every single one. Didn't care what team. <laughs> and some of them were really nasty too. Including, yes, a permanent injury to the death roller that had to be apothecary stat. That's how brutal this game has been. What do you mean, what's the hurt out? Who cares? Oh god. Yep, ah, there it is again! <laughs> Paxton on point again. Finally! That is the first successful GFI all game! Again! It is the legend. It is the legend indeed. Paxton has just been devastating. That was the first success. There have been seven attempted GFIs. That was the first one that's actually worked. And that actually cost a reroll. That's terrifying. Oh my god there. No gerbils on his lawn. He's got an opportunity here. With the hit. Gets the pow. Beautiful hit right there. Sloppy. And yep, yeah, now the High Elves absolutely have a chance to get the ball. They just got to pick this up and how it's it down the field here. Here they go. This is what Chelsea is known for here. Golden opportunity. There's the throw. And he's got it. Beautiful. Shut up and take my money. High Elves back in the game. Back in business here. And now the High Elves have one purpose. Defend this arsehole. For your life. And there's the fail. Oh, God. And there's a KO. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, at least it's only a KO. No, really. I think the old fans are pretty happy about that. It's only a KO. You would think with eight mighty blows on the field, this would be worse. There we go. I shot the sheriff and the deputy and your wee doggy too. And meanwhile, the beatings will continue. All right, push me, fuck you. Yep, strength four on that lad. Strength four. Troll Slayer doesn't need any help there. You're doing it wrong. Ask, ask the other dwarf team. Not a solid hit and all a solid takedown right there. God, I tell you, at this point here, the High Elves are so glad they've got AV8 across the board to get most of the team because this was an AV17, dead. <laughs> There's so much money blow on this field. All right. Well, the Dwarves see an opportunity. He's going to go for it. And he makes it. He finally makes it. My pleasure. And he actually makes the critical dodge. Here he comes, makes all the GFIs. Ah, right to that moment. Open fire! You'll try again. There's the pow. He does get the takedown. Hits the lineman. Boom! He got him. He got him. That's a stun. Ah, uh, it's not really good enough. I'm straight. But yeah, they got the ball for it. And then there's the double fail on the dodge from the runner. So much for that idea. No way. Oh, we got ourselves a game here, lads. Cheating Chelsea will not give this one up here. They are still keeping at this here. But now you start to see Paxton's tired. Paxton absolutely is exhausted at this point here. He's been taking out everybody. Perfect bounce there for Chelsea. That is exactly what they were looking for. And here they go. Easy peasy. Alby squeezy. He's got the calico. Run, you fool. Run. Oh, God. Don't stand there, you fool. You're going to die. Oh, well. 
way this game is going? Probably. Yes, I know. Dwarven heresy. And oh my god, you can see it here. The elves have started succeeding in dodging. No more ones. Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh my god, who the hell cares? Alright, dwarves, counterattack! Elf lives don't matter. Out your mean. Alright, here we are. Turn 12 here. Chelsea trying to get back in here. They're down by one. They are battling back. Woo! Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me. There goes the apothecary. Guess what? Oh, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, there's me hammer. He's dead. He's dead. There go, Robin. Fucking elf is dead. Yes, there we go. Grimwald is pleased. Yeah, Grimwald is very pleased. Ooh, that was an expensive kill, that one. And that was a failed apothecary to boot. Double death. Brutal. Oh, God. Again, I like to go and have a wee conversation whoever put a duck on my channel. Anyway. Here we go, counter-attack, one die, only the push, goes to the reroll, gets the block, gets the takedown, and he even gets the stun, beautiful! Thank you! And the ball bounces free again! Runner, charging back here, trying to make sure things keep interesting here. Elves, desperation, do get the ball! Work complete! And actually do manage to score, we're tied at one! Panda, you think he runs this channel? <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Most exciting event you possibly could have gotten there. Most exciting event, yes. Panda is cheering on the dwarves. Normally, not something he you does. Look like you could use a drink. Well, there we go. Solid hit, solid takedown. I can't shoot straight unless I've had a pain. Absolutely, cheers. Oh, God, I need that panda. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. All right, yeah, you were the halftime ad. Panda was the halftime ad. Witness. All right. Solid hit. Solid takedown. That's an injury. Finally got one. <laughs> it has been a brutal game. Two apothecaries have been burned in this game here by cheating Chelsea. The crowd is going wild there. That is a permanent injury right there. A death by inches. That is a big one right there. Another big solid punch. Big takedown right there. Oh, you're nice. Yeah, that is only me to stun. As you can see here, confirmed kill. And look who that is. Rassel, Leap, Strip Blow. Three skills. Absolutely, crippledly dead. Brutalized him. Yeah, we do need beer. Cheers. Oh, God. The game you all dreamed of. Cheating Chelsea is finally getting commitments. It's finally happening. All right, he's got the ball. However, remember, this is Chelsea you're talking about here. They ain't gonna quit this one. They're gonna keep coming at them until they actually try to win this game. Big hit. And so far, the charging through. They've got three rerolls. And remember, the dwarves are all out of rerolls at this point. Iron Man, so the dwarves can't make anything go wrong. It really is. It's one of those crazy... Oh, here it comes. Vengeance. Cheating Chelsea on the big board. Here we go. The foul. Did he get him? Oh, come on. Crack. Even Williams wouldn't call that one. That was lame. Yep, yeah, fails the foul completely. I also have the right idea. They scatter to the flanks and they're going to try and put the pressure in here. We are tied at one. Dwarves charging down the field as we speak here. Get up, you lazy bastard. All right, he's up. 
He's only a young dwarf. He's only 82. Come on, give him a break. He has to get over his teenage years. All right, solid wrestle. Solid takedown right there. And surprisingly, that was actually the first foul of the game. Well, it's gotten to become a grudge match, all right, here. Yeah, the dwarves are just laying in as fast as they can, but they recognize here is a golden opportunity to win. Do something that has not been done against cheating Chelsea all season. All right. Meanwhile, the dwarves try to prove their point. This was the team that in the first round scored an average of three touchdowns per game. A dwarf team. Amazing. And there's the tackle. Crap. All right, well, there's the rear L. He's got plenty, makes it, comes out of there. And he's going to try and focus some firepower here to try and remove some dwarves. Or at least slow the drive down. And so far, that's not working. Two more dice. Solid hit. Takes the Troll Slayer down, sends him flying there. Is he going back to fouling? Good chance. Makes the dodge away. It's like the rock away, but less casualties there. And meanwhile, here he comes, keeping a bit of pressure on. And now, yeah, it's time to foul one more time, maybe. Oh, no, no, hit the runner. Well, he missed. Damn, son, where'd you find this? In his pants, apparently. Now, the last lad, where's he going to run to? Is he going to run? Yes, he is. He's going to run there. Light screen, Chelsea. They've got the screen up. We've only got two more turns left in the game. It's still going crazy here. All right. Silver bullet here. Taste the rainbow. They are doing all out as they can here. They would like to score. They would like to win this game. Side step. Well, he ain't sidestepping. Insurmountable amount of money. Probably is. Cheers. Ah, oh, get a triple shot there. Woo! I always keep one of those two of those handy just in case Panda or other gentlemen show up. He's a man of high culture and style. At least that's what the bathroom wall says. Anyway, moving along here. Running, running, running. There he goes. Let's get to it then. Yep, he is. He's going for the win. Fuck is going for the win here. The dwarves are not fooling around here. They weren't too sure how this game would go. Well, we've seen how this game has gone, all right? Violent. Of course, the scary part, the fact that Gerbil took out the troll, it took out the uh, death roller. Rather amazing, that one. That was probably the highlight of the game. for the greater good? Uh, Cut it! We all agree. Foul. Foul early, foul often. Here comes the leap. And he's in. Two dice. And guess what? He missed. He does not have tackle. Does not get the roll he wants. Oh, good God. That is horrible. That is fucking horrible for Team Chelsea. They missed two cracks. Only one was a wrestle or a pow. Couldn't get either. Cheating Chelsea runs an old receiver down the field just in case somehow the ball comes free. And they're now trying to stack a couple of players down here just in case. Where's he going? Oh, he's just going to lie there for a while. Damn, I'm good. Good at what? I have no idea. Meanwhile, Dwarves turn 16. They recognize what could possibly go wrong. They've seen this broadcast. They're very aware of it. <laughs> so they are preparing for failure as we speak. Will they make it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now remember, Paxton's been devastating this game. But is he finally going to lay off and let the dwarves win this one? It is entirely possible. He charges in. Gets the two dice. There's the pal. That gets rid of the dodge. That's at least something there. Big punch. Here we go. Full speed. Here we go. Attack this one. More than moving up here. More planning for the inevitable failure, as we see. Here it is. Running, 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 running. Does he make it? Does he make it? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, the dwarves have done it. The dwarves have done the impossible, it feels like. They have actually taken the lead, finally. Two to one versus Cheating Chelsea. Now, Cheating Chelsea has options. 
They can try with great difficulty and try and go for the one turn touchdown. The Dwarves sure as fuck aren't going to allow that if they can help it. Or there could always be a riot. There could always be a riot. Anything's possible, lads. Anything is possible here. G Chelsea still has a reroll here. They have the power of leap by one or two players. They can get in and do some pretty creative chain pushing here if they get crazy. I know. Can G Chelsea get the tie? Will they get their honor back here? Here we go. Solid kick. What's he get? Oh, extra reroll. Not that anyone cares. Better alive. You are coming with me. At this point, I don't think anyone cares for extra rerolls. They don't need them. It's not going to make any difference. Oh, look at where that kick is all the way in the back end. They're actually going to make this one tricky. He can't bother rerolling it. He really can't bother. Not really. There we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Now he's going to get rather creative here. He's getting incredibly creative trying to figure out a way. And I don't think he can do it, lads. I don't think he can do it. It's not going to work. Not going to work at all here. Runs back all the way. All right. Well, it's time for a cheese. Please for cheesing Chelsea. <laughs> ah, how's that easy pick up for you, lad? Not working today, is it? All right. Well, there we go. Solid throw. Yeah, I, I don't think you can do it, lad. I don't think you can do it. He, he needed a push. He got a pow. Didn't even bother re-rolling it. He didn't want to risk it there. The dwarves set up perfectly. And yes, you are seeing history in the making there. You got it, Pontiac. Two to one. Guess what? The dwarves beat cheating Chelsea. They finally got him. Chelsea finally not only loses a game, loses a key player here. The dwarves march on to victory. They are starting to look like the deadly favorites here. To go into the finals. They are starting to look at, hey, Lando, you might want to watch this team. They're starting to win games. A lot of games, if you know what I mean there. As for Cheating Chelsea, maybe that's finally the moment they really needed here to figure out where the fuck they're going to go later this season because there's a loss. They will regroup, reassemble, and go into probably the second round. They're still going in strong. They could do fine in the third round. The question is, can they win their division? They might actually really want being one of those teams that really wants the first round by, but we will see. Anyway, thank you for all tuning in there. Have fun over there at Gen Con. I know a bunch of you have been watching from there. Yeah, someday I'll get back down there. Someday. I swear. Yeah. I've got dice I've got to go get back. Anyway, we'll see you all then. Nothal, bless your dice.